If you were early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Professor Slash here, and you just tuned into another episode of Slash Life Fishing. As you can see with this beautiful shade, ladies and gentlemen, it's evening time here in sunny, sunny Florida. Now, what we got here today is we're going to do us another bottom rigging video. But not just any bottom rigging video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to catch some nice shell crackers, bluegills, but I mainly want these big old shell crackers on night crawlers, ladies and gentlemen. Now y'all know I stand against these. You know us, all my old subscribers, you guys already know I'm a red worm fanatic. I stand by that bait more than anything in the world, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to a bluegill and a shell cracker. But today I'm gonna show you guys how to use these big old night crawlers and catch you some shell crackers. Now, you guys know all my old subscribers, how I bottom rig fish. You guys all know I use three eighths of an ounce, but it's for my new subscribers. Welcome to Slab Life Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. This is my bottom rig, okay? Three eighths of an ounce, egg sinker, uh, swivel, lead line, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we're doing. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to come with me. Throw amongst all this right here, all this structure, these lily pads and these cattails. You guys know we just had a hurricane come through. That's what laid these cattails like cattails down like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take advantage of it. You understand me? So what I want you guys to do is stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, and get ready for some bent over rods with Professor Slabs. Slab like baby. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm finna show you guys how I rig up these red worm, I mean these night crawlers. Now, I forgot to tell you guys also in the intro, in the introduction. I'm not fishing tight line today. I'm just bottom rigging. I'm gonna show you guys how to fish on the slack. That's what I call it, ladies and gentlemen, when you leave your line slack. And I'm gonna show you guys how them lines just roll on now nice and slow, and I, boom, meet them halfway. Let's get ready to do this, okay. So first of all, let's get a night call. Okay. He a pretty small one. I usually tear him in half, but he about the size of a good size red worm, so we gonna. Do them just like how we do a red worm, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to use one. Because you know a night crawler a little thicker. So we might be able to use this same bait multiple times. We'll put him on there just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'll show you how we can go. Real muddy. Y'all going to see me slip. You're not laugh at me. I am going to do a lot of slipping and falling. Stop me, y'all. Life needs you Here we go. Let's break impact. Nah, no, I ain't going far, ladies and gentlemen. Right up in there. And I'm letting it fall. Particular lake where I'm fishing at very deep. On the end. I'm going to sit the pole down. And you see how my line slack like that, ladies and gentlemen? That's how we're gonna leave it. And you're gonna see that line ease out. And we know it's a fish on there. So, what y'all do is just stay tuned and get ready for some fish. I'm finna bait up another rod, get it out here, and we finna hammer. Slap like baby. Now these shell crackers and these bluegill, they resort to these lily pads, ladies and gentlemen, because they know the food source that they're looking for is either under them or on top of them. Bugs and all kinds of water microbes and stuff. So that's why I got these poles out here lined up against these lily pads. I'm pretty sure when a shell cracker come through and he see that worm sitting there, he go, Pick it right up and swim off with it nice and slow. Y'all just watch. Let me show you. That's 
a baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that shell cracker there. Look at the butter on that belly. Yes, indeed. All right, all right. Y'all stay tuned. Let me get some more of these, huh? Hold on, let me show y'all how I do it. Stuck him good. There we go. Now we won't, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all stay tuned. We got some more coming. Look. Look at that shell cracker. Look at that shell He ain't gonna keep, baby. This ain't in here. No, 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 no. Fly high, little guy. That ain't at all what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Now this feels like a pretty good one. See if I can get him out of these fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that shell, bro. Look at that shell, crack a baby shell. Whoa! Can't want the pole. No accident. How's about that? Beauty right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. So y'all know where she go. And I know y'all want her. Uh-oh. Tongue twisted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 my boy. No, no, no. He goes to the golden bar. Slap like, baby. Y'all stay tuned.
but it's a fish, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I think I found something. I see. That was a good bite, too. Even catfish, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get that catfish off. Get one more bait out here and see what else we can do. Slap like, baby. Pant size, pant size. Yes, sir. So he ready to go hit the skillet, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Never let it stop you, ladies and gentlemen. You go to Walmart and ain't no red worms in there. Take your chance with some night crawlers. It just might work out. Tear them in half when they're huge like that. And use them like that too. See, you gotta look at things on the bright side. You can never do that with a red one. Hey, slide like baby, y'all stay tuned for some more fish. Get bike in the mud. See if you can get us a nerd. Bite, ladies and gentlemen. Let it go, but we had a bite for sure. 
Mike is good. That's enough. Here it goes. Here it goes. No, I got him. He's just a little bitty bitty. I thought he got off, ladies and gentlemen. Look, ground. The more that sun falling, they starting to get a little hungry. Let's get on back out here and try this again. Y'all named her the right thing because she out here crushing right now. Who wants to crush? He got me wrapped around in these lilies. I'm gonna let him work himself out. Yeah, he got me wrapped here. Yeah, he ain't. He wrapped in that bit. He ready to see if he work himself. There. How you work him out, ladies and gentlemen? You gotta wait him out. Ooh, look at Orange Crust go! About that, ladies and gentlemen. Walking catfish. Invasive species of Florida. Non natives. He got the hook swallowed. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to go ahead and just pop the line and let him go. Slide like, baby. It's getting dark, ladies and gentlemen. I think I got time for one more, baby. We're going to try it one more time. See if we can get us a nice show. Oh, yeah. Y'all stay tuned. Catfish. Fat one. You heard him, ladies and gentlemen. Thought I heard a Sasquatch. I'm getting out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all stay. Matter of fact, I'm gone, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all got to go fishing with me. I decided to go ahead and do you guys another catch and cook. Show you guys how we do our shell cracker. Now, I'm going to talk to y'all for a minute. 
Today, we cooking the shell crack a hole. Okay? Back in the day, ladies and gentlemen, before we got all fancy and start filleting things and cutting off heads, when I was raised, my grandma sometimes would just scale her shell cracker and bluegill and gut them. Y'all put in the comment section if y'all had a granny or uncle or anybody from the old school, they would just scale the gut, they browns, and fry them whole like that. And for all you people that's from the new school, that like y'all fish boneless, skinless, and all this extra, I'm going to show you guys today how we used to eat them. How the bluegill is originally prepared. Whole, okay? So we got our shell crackers right here that we caught. Now, I got a special thing for y'all today. Yes, indeed. How many of you guys ever fried some fish in this right here? Yes, indeed. Jiffy cornbread mix. I'm going to show you guys how to cook not only your shell crack a hole, but how to cook them is some Jiffy cornbread mix, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about sweet and salty, some delicious. Now, here in Florida, we eat grits with our fish, ladies and gentlemen. We got a pot of grits going back here. I got me some hot biscuits tea uh, boiling right now. So what's next best to do is just get this fish fried. Hello. So I got a bowl right here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is what I'm gonna be shaking my, uh, my fish in. So I'm simply gonna take off the uh, take out the uh, pack of Jiffy cornbread mix. Now, for all my people that do not know, cornbread is made out of corn meal. Okay, that's what you typically fry your fish in most of the time. People are either gonna use yellow corn meal or white corn meal. Okay, so Jiffy is none other than yellow cornmeal that has had sweeteners and things like that added to it so when you bake it in the oven it come out so delicious so that's what we finna do right now we just gonna dump this pack in the bowl open it up dump it in just that simple I'm gonna do two boxes to make sure they get coated real good so I want you guys to do and stay tuned and I'll be right back with y'all after we get this filled up with the cornmeal we finna go ahead and season up the fish and we finna drop them in the deep fryer slap like baby alright ladies and gentlemen we got our jiffy cornbread mix in the bowl now it is very sweet like you guys all know that you that's eating jiffy cornbread you guys know it's very sweet so what I like to do is Add a little bit of garlic powder. Onion powder. Old Bay. And we're gonna shake that up. Now, we got that. We're gonna get that shook up just like this. Okay, got that done. Now, what we're gonna do now is season our fish. Now, we ain't doing extra with that. It's just gonna be simple. What we season our, season our fish with, ladies and gentlemen. And that's simple as salt, pepper, okay? Now, I'm gonna take the salt. I'm gonna go right over top of these shell crackers. Yes, indeed. Just like that. Just like my granny used to do. Open up the cavity. Season on the inside of there too with a little salt. Get on the inside of there too. Show y'all how to eat them whole. Now, as you guys can see, when you clean your fish whole, you still have to get the gills out. Do not leave the gills inside your fish. Those are not edible, <laughs> okay? So make sure that's good. Come over with a little bit of black pepper. Just that simple, and then we're gonna flip them. So. That's it. Do a little black pepper again on this side too. But we already got all those other flavors inside the meal, remember? Okay. 
Now, what I like to do is I take my fish, flip them over like this right here over each other, make sure those seasonings is spread all on that fish just like that there, okay? Now, we're getting ready to go to the next level, ladies and gentlemen. What I want you guys to do is stay tuned. Let me clean up a little bit what I got going on already. And when y'all come back, we dropping them in a deep fry. Slap like baby. Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take our first shell cracker. Sit him in the bowl, ladies and gentlemen. He can barely fit. Now, you know you're catching him good when he can't fit. Don't shake him up. Right in that good old cornbread mix, ladies and gentlemen. Shake him up good, upside down if you want. Nah. Ooh, I done threw a little bit some places, y'all. Excuse me. Nah, what I like to do is grab mine by the tail. Pull him up. And as you guys can see, fully coated on both sides. Now what we're gonna do is drop him in some hot oil, ladies and gentlemen. Just like so. So with the size of these, we're gonna fry them one at a time. I don't wanna overdo it. We're gonna deep fry the shell crackers. We're gonna put them right here on my uh, stand right here. I do not like putting my fish on paper towel anymore. I got that from another YouTuber. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the lift off. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Golden brown, crispy. Nah. Let the excess oil drip off of it. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have to look at that. Whole fry. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that shell cracker there, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful and crispy. Y'all stay tuned. I'm getting ready to get round two going right now. All right, we're going to get our second one. Let's get him shook up also. As you guys can see, I am not using any kind of binder or anything. I mean, as you guys can see, it comes out coated beautifully. You don't need egg, you don't need no milk or nothing like that. There, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing you need is some hot oil, some dry mix, and him. <laughs> That's it. As you guys can see, fully coated. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Let's drop him in the oil, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking his last swim, y'all in the golden pond. Jiffy cornbread. Hey, let's go. Snap like baby. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Jiffy cornbread. Oh, can't beat it, ladies and gentlemen. Can't beat it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Mama, 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 mama. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got a couple more fish I'm going to get ready to fry. Next time y'all see me, we'll be sitting down, we'll be eating it. That's the best part, ladies and gentlemen. So I want you guys to do is stay tuned. Let me go ahead and fry these last two. Get them done. Get my plate made. And I'm going to meet y'all at the table. Slap like, baby. Amen. Amen. Amen, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You guys, watch me catch it. Okay, showed you how I cleaned it. Scaled and gutted, that's it. Head still on, we got the shell cracker hole. Okay, we got us a side of some cheese grits over here. We got some good old mozzarella cheese. And we got these brown, these shell crackers cooked in Jiffy cornbread mix. Now, first place I like to dig in at is right here, ladies and gentlemen. I like to start at that tail end first. Look at all that meat, look at that. Look at that white meat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Look at that white meat. Almost white as the grits. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy that. Catching fish with me, cooking with me, then coming to eat some breakfast with me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I showed you guys how to take a night crawler and catch a shell cracker. Okay? On the bottom. No barbers needed, okay? I do not use night crawlers, too, indeed. But I got to show you guys they do work. They are big. So if they don't have any red worms like what happened to me at Walmart, take you some night crawlers, ladies and gentlemen. They work, too. And I want you guys to remember something. If you don't remember anything, I want you to remember this. If you have to ask, you are not living. And if you're not living, <laughs> you're not fishing. Slide like baby, it's a lifestyle that I present and bring a lifetime of memories. And you can take that to the bank, ladies and gentlemen, while I call these fish. God bless y'all. Slap like baby. If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery is filled with space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill could be nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. Slab life, baby. Slab life, baby. Slab nabbits, we done done it again. Ladies and gentlemen, before I go. Mm. You ain't no real bluegill shell cracker eater. If you don't, grab this in, lift that tail. Enjoy some of the best potato chips God ever put on this green earth. You living a slab life. If you do what I just did, ladies and gentlemen, you a slab lifer. Slab life, baby. Love y'all. Catch y'all next time.